We started the Rainwater Club uh, once we had a personal experience with water shortage during the construction of this house. And we found it raining and water was getting wasted away in the storm drain. So we started to collect rainwater and harvest it and we used that to build this home. Since the Rainwater Club was an unregistered uh, platform, we had to, for uh, grant purpose and activity purpose, register it and so we started the Biome Trust. So we were work with rainwater harvesting, groundwater management and groundwater understanding, wastewater reuse, something called ecological sanitation systems and water literacy, whereby we teach children especially how to value water, how to understand the quantity and quality of water which they are using in their immediate surroundings to become responsible citizens with water. And uh, the way we do the work in schools is, uh, is we engage with the students, we engage with the teachers and try and frame the engagement and the conversation around the problems that the school is facing for water, for sanitation. The initial sessions would involve them, uh, would involve basic facts around water. So the different sources of water around their school, or what do they use water for, and uh, then the introduction to water cycle. So what does water cycle mean? So after that, so we usually, uh, the second session, we usually make the students calculate the water demand for the school. So depending on their roof areas in the school, so we make the students calculate what is the amount of rainwater they can actually collect from their schools, and how much it can offset from their uh, how much it can offset their actual water demand in the school. So the first thing that we do while implementation of rainwater harvesting system is identifying the catchment. That is the building on which the rainwater harvesting system will be installed. Uh, after we do that, then there are downtake pipes. So these downtake pipes are connected appropriately. They are brought together. Uh, then there is a first train separator that's given, which essentially allows you allows the first few minutes of rain to bypass the rainwater harvesting system. After that, the clean water goes through a filter. This kind of filter is filled with jelly stones of different sizes, charcoal. There is an etlon mesh, so you can construct it on site. And after the filtration, is goes to a storage system. Either in the Samasena Pariaraito, a Makari rain water on the value got again. Ig now rain water of Malebandaga, E Nero, some pig of the Adaga, some put Tumkon Harkondo Burta. As under the Lee, one the Sanama, some penny on the Hatsa or Gallan Nero, air tanker near Hildre, I won Sandra Buddhali, government tap near Bartolo for Savita and get all off my beauty. Ado Kali or Guru, Malagala, Yavriti, Malay Bulute, other Malay depend. Agagi Namaka Malagalli. Now, others to tap near and a barcade in Nilsi, he saved Marcundi than a barcade of people. Even the rainwater value on the Tilsko, the Agli, now maintenance model, the Yala, the headmaster, Agli teachers, Agun Makasta, now class Martha, Yeno Berthe, Agagi, now Solpunama, workload and Academy Malike, on the committee and the Ibru Nalkudur Marconi. Nan Esther Rishit, Nan Samas, and Italy of Taizine, now rainwater committee Elidre. Now, our committee is not a good thing. We have a water supply, 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 a water I like is often cliched and spoken about children being the future of the country as we go ahead, a need to inculcate in them these values and to be, for them to be able to see how it really works. And many times they take the message beyond their school as well. They take it to their parents, other teachers. So keeping all of that in mind, we started engaging with schools. So now SMT is a member of the school. We have to go to school and go to school. We have to do this in the middle of the day. We have to do this in the middle of the day. We have to do this in the middle of the day. We have to do this in the middle of the day.
but we've not been limited to this area alone. We've done schools in the center of the city, uh, in Vartur, Gunjur, uh, in Kasvanahalli. There's a school near Kaikondrali called the Renuka School. So there have been different donors at different points in time and schools across the city where we've been able to implement rainwater harvesting. The impact uh, of this particular project can be seen on two fronts. One is the physical uh, impact, uh, where uh, the physical infrastructure has been developed. So this has enabled the schools to capture rainwater and use it at different points for hand washing, from hand washing to uh, using water in the toilets, ensuring that uh, hygiene and sanitation is taken care. Biome is part of a larger canvas of people and institutions who are seeking solutions to India's water challenge. One has seen that water has now become center stage at uh, receiving attention. So we are glad to be part of this broader journey. We are glad to bring the voices of people, farmers, well diggers, plumbers into this whole discourse. And we see hope and optimism. Even though the era of climate change is very pessimistic, we think that a lot of local solutions will help us at least partially alleviate our problems in the coming days.